It all started a couple days before. I decided to slip into a tree for a morning hunt, trying to catch a buck on his feet in an area where we knew the big boys might be. The first deer of the morning began feeding on acorns, a doe and her fawn. Although these deer were directly downwind from me, they still managed to slowly graze right underneath my stand. Talk about having them close. While watching these deer move off, a small buck swings through the edge of the bedding area to my east. I do a couple light grunts to get his attention. Within minutes, the buck makes his way downwind and through the acorn flat. With no deer in sight, he heads back towards the bedding area and out of the area.
so I bumped the camera arm and the deer is facing me head on. I had never really taken a shot like this one before. I decided to go ahead and get down, give the deer some time, and make a few phone calls. But in the meantime, I wanted to go ahead and see what kind of blood I could find off the initial hit. And, uh, well, <laughs> this is what I found. Guys, just shot a good one. Look at the blood, baby. Look at the blood. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna take a picture of that. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's a big uh, deer. That's a good deer. He's a big deer. That's a good deer. Yeah, it is a good deer. He's not as big as I thought, I'm going to be honest with you, but I'm I'm totally proud of that deer. He still has a decent good rack on him. 100% proud of that deer. Yeah. He's probably three and a half. That's a European mountain. He laid there, too. See that? Yeah. He totally laid up, and that was it. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I'm wondering if you didn't break that brow sign off running through there, dude. He had both brows. That's a fresh he break. probably did. Hitting that yeah. one tree. He did. That's a fresh break. Now you see where he stumbled. Yep. He was so scared, but he definitely laid. That's awesome. Yeah, he, uh, he started staggering way back there. He's a pretty good boy. That. Huge body on him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. It happened so quick. The last second when you least expect it. It's unreal. You know, it really boils down to the moment and the memories. Being able to get such an amazing group of people out in the woods, like my girlfriend, her brother, and her mom, Sean, his girlfriend, and my dad. It's those memories created from that that truly last a lifetime and something that you cherish to the day you die. And I can't thank these people enough for being able to come out and help. And on top of that, the rush that you get from the time you harvest the animal to the time that you find it is something that is honestly unexplainable. And it's something that is truly so amazing. And it's part of the reason why we do what we do.